Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. You're watching me transport Fever 2 Metropolis and we're riding on top of uh, an Intercity 125. Which possibly even goes a bit faster than that. I don't think that people call them an Intercity 125 anymore. They always used to. I like that about them. Uh, it was very much a does what it says on the tin kind of a train description name type of deal. Anyway, it's 1990. Yeah, I know. We've, we've advanced by 10 years. And uh, soak in the bridge. Come on, everybody appreciate the bridge. Let's have a big... Ooh. Ah. Oh, look at that. But would you just... Oh, yeah, it's not much to see, but it's spectacular nonetheless. Anyway, we're going to ride this bad boy up to the far end before we kick off the show. And uh, just reasons. I'm not... I would accelerate it because we've still got a bit of a bit of a way to go. Because I've rebuilt the station at, uh, at both ends of this line. Uh, in order to be able to facilitate this uh, this girthy monstrosity, uh, which is uh, which is what you want to do, but I, I don't know. Um, so uh, so yeah, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to extend this line further. At the moment, it's a two stopper. It was for a little while making profit. At the moment, I think it's it's scraping by, just just about losing money um, because I don't know. I expect it's got its reasons. Oh, it's San Horn barely worth it um yeah no I, I, since remodeling the stations it's not making money anymore and i really didn't do very much to them at all yeah i know you saw a bit of scenery there that was nice uh then we got this which i've not actually ridden through so i've no idea how wonky this track is i mean it's a bit abrupt this corner but it has to be uh that's just that's that's nature at work there should be okay oh yeah it should be all right as, as you can see look it's built up on the other side of the station as well that's quite it's quite nice, but that's what happens when you rattle the game forward by ten years, and uh, we've got a, we've got asymmetric station going on now. So there's a station building. Wait for it. 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 You're looking the wrong side, and then on the other side you've got a whole other platform, or have you? No, you haven't. You're thinking of the other end. So here we are, as you can, well, uh, just, just choose a better camera angle, son, come on, there you go, right, there you go, as you can see, it now fits snugly inside the station, and uh, I was, no, it is an asymmetric station, it is, I'll show you why, uh, yeah, it's asymmetric because it's only got a platform on this side, the other side doesn't have a platform, huh, yeah, cool, um, yeah, so it's, just about in profit but as you can see it's only it's only carting about 50 percent of its capacity so there's there's big money to be made there should one ever get to the point of making big money i've i've built out the usual concoction of uh you know under and over road connection bits and pieces just to see how the ai takes to it it's done quite nicely over here but there's there's still a lot of unoccupied space and of course all of these um all of these npc buildings are all great because they all funnel more passengers into the station, which is um, great. Yeah, so cool. Ah, right now we're going to turn our attention to Alpha Complex, which is down the other end. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, I've built this is the one you asymmetric because this is a four platform job, right? So we've got this mainline service, well, it's coastal. I guess it's the coastal mainline because it's only going to be a rare stopper uh, running down one side, and then you've got the local services of which there will be two maybe three in total running in the other side we've got a ruddy great station building there that looks completely out of place you're welcome and uh, and then full length this side which of course will suit the entire train now the next projects to come uh we've got a, i don't want to do it it's going to be so difficult but that's why we do these things uh you've got this looping around service here which will come out there it'll go hey oh, before coming back there right uh in and out bit of a loop uh we'll pick up all of the local services here which will cannibalize quite a lot of the the, the bus action we've got going on there and that's fine i'm quite happy to cannibalize bus action where possible uh, and then we've got our, our, what are we calling this? Let's call it the coastal service. We've got the coastal service running out this way, uh, which is where we're going to pick up the action today uh, because I want to get more trains on that track because it's going to pay like gangbusters. Not that I need the money these days, but 
Paying gangbusters is something one should always go for, given half a chance. So we're going to wind our way over here. We're going to curve in. Quite a lot of bulldozing to go there. And then we're going to head along the coast. Now, what I don't want to do is I don't want to knock out these houses because I like them all kind of put. I don't care about Gotham having an oil refinery. I think it's being, I think it's being optimistic. Uh, I don't want to knock out these houses because I rather like them. I mean, coastal erosion is going to plunge them all into the sea before too long, but hey, <laughs> no, that's their lookout. Uh, no, and then we will build a new station up here in Gallifrey, uh, which will be the next on this on this coastal line. And if I get through that in about 10 minutes, I'll keep going, uh, where we will wend our way along the cliffs here. Do we stop in Eros? Oh, you know, I think we should, even though it's going to be quite tricky to get to, because that's a bit of a steep uphill. Uh, and then we wend further still before ending up, maybe, maybe Picks Creek, maybe Bumson. I think Bumson might be the smarter play there. But I haven't decided yet, and neither do I need to decide for a little while to come. So, there. Uh, right, okay, let's slap in a station. Now then, this is also going to be, is it? No, it's not. Sure? I was going to say, this is going to be on the local service route as well. I mean, it should be. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a straightforward, this is going to be a straightforward passenger station. Uh, just a two-tracker, but it does need to be quite long, so it's going to be a 240 with the high speeds. Uh, and that should that should work out reasonably well. So I hear what you're saying. What you're saying is, well, if you're not going to knock out those houses along the coast there, how are you going to get there? I'm going to run a viaduct. Try to keep the viaduct at, uh, at the same elevation and running parallel to this house line. I think it will look super. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll tunnel down from Gallifrey Station to reach that. Should work. Might not. Who knows? Um, but uh, you've got to... You've got to try these things, otherwise you'll never know, will you? And and then where will we be as a species, you know, if you if you don't... I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, right, move that up there just a bit. Give it some of that. Uh, have I actually landed this pretty much right to start with? Nope, you want to go a bit higher. Okay, not too much higher, though, because otherwise you start to get into the faintly ludicrous. Uh, about there. Because you want us to be able to see into the windows of all those houses while simultaneously ruining their sea view although people will go no 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 you've got the you've got a train going across there now then i'm gonna i'm probably gonna use a standard bridge for this i know it pains me as much as it does you but it's just going to work you know less faffing around with having to i'm gonna figure out uh the bollards Bollards to you too, my friend. No, I'd, uh, having to fill out, what are they called? Pillars. Pillars, that's what they're called. Uh, having to figure out pillars afterwards. Uh, no one's got time for that. So let's just do this. Hooray! Uh, yeah, I suppose. Um, and then uh, and then keep going in a straight line. Uh, now, you will notice, if you have an observant face, uh, that, uh, that I have indeed switched back to Imperial Measurements. You're more than welcome there, Imperial Measurement fanciers. Uh, I said I would, and I have. Uh, it makes me feel neither happy nor sad. I mean, it all just works, so, you know, whatever. Um, yeah. It's, it was just, I mean, because it was just a case of, you know, doing the doing the switch over, and that, that took me almost six or seven seconds. Now, I don't really want to be slowing down to under 100 here, but unless I want a swan neck of significant renown, I think I'm going to have to. Or, of course, I'd bulldoze further up that way. Let's... Mm, don't know. All right, well, look. Try from about there. All right. Give us a starting point. Yeah, you see, now we're into we're into proper faffing around now. Uh, drop that to altitude, and then where are you going? No, no, that's not what we had in mind at all. There you go. Do that. Right. Okay, so we're kind of coming out that way. And then if we were to just do a right angle here, what are we talking about? I mean, obviously, it's an elongated right angle. 53, it slows down. 47, 45. No, it's rubbish. You can't have your high-speed route slowing down at 45 miles per hour. That will not do. Okay, well, in which case, knock out a bit more of your bridge. All right. Start earlier. Bulldoze more. 10-4, good buddy. All uh, right, let's get this down to... 
Yeah, yeah, I know construction's not possible. I'll make it possible for you in a minute. Uh, you're still not going to get... You're not going to get 45 degrees. Yeah, that's it. 90. 90 degrees is what we're, what we're chasing here. And no, right. Okay, dozer's out. Paws on. Sorry, lads, coming through. And I'm not done yet, so some, some more of you are going to be disappointed presently. Right. 109. That is very acceptable. And that has landed entirely flush with the landscape without having to do any kind of elevatory move in the slightest. It's like I'm a ruddy genius sometimes, you know, but it's not true. I'm not a ruddy genius sometimes. I'm ruddy lucky a lot of the time. And that's really all there is to it. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd love to say that there were more to it than that and that, you know, I could I could put it down to inspiration and wisdom and all of that kind of... No, no, no. No, no, that's, that'd just be lies. No, i just get lucky. Now, you could argue, of course, that because I've played so much of this, that it's not so much luck and more experience at work. Oh, then, then you're into all kinds of philosophical at that point. Oh, yeah, I mean, if, if you like the philosophical, then you're, you're, you've come to the right place. Slap that in right there. Right. And then... Uh, knock that out again sorry i'm not i'm not going off piece the, you, you're not watching the wrong series it's all right i'm gonna continue just i'm just filling time while doing a bit of track laying and weirdly enough i find it easier to uh to be able to remain somewhat on topic as far as my track laying is concerned while talking about something entirely different uh well either that or it gets very boring you see because Gotta go, oh, see, look, 85, 86, and then another 80, I've got some 84s in there. You know, oh, is that satisfactory or not? You go, you can see that if you're watching. If you're watching, you can see what's going on with all of that caper. Uh, either way, you need to mute this. There you go. They'll be back, don't worry. No one's no one's ever gone for long. Uh, not in this game. No, they, they come back and build in a way that you don't want them to unless you've got the pause button on, which is why, of course, I put the pause button on. What do you think, 80? Well, the good thing about the HST is it doesn't actually accelerate very quickly. Uh, it's got a decent cruising speed, obviously, but acceleration is not its forte. That could work. All right, let's have a quick look at it. Let's have a, let's have a quick thank you. My middle mouse button's playing up. So I, the, my rotation is sometimes not immediate, and sometimes me you know, twiddle the camera around a bit to check that I'm doing it properly isn't working properly. So if that if if you think I'm fighting the camera on occasion, it's because I am. Uh, what do you think? 80? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'd uh, We'll take that. There's got to be an, a certain amount of wendage going on here, so we might as well wendy that way. Good old wendy. Yeah, she helps us out on, a, on numerous occasions. She got a surname? Flapjacks. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Wendy Flapjacks. That's her name. And uh, friends to you and I and track layers everywhere. All right. Why? What does she do? Uh, Why? Well, she likes to wiggle around a bit. Oh, <laughs> you can't say that. No, I know you can't. All right. Under the caveat of you can't say that, I was going to say, I've heard you pay extra for that. So uh, there you go. There's that. Yeah, totally inappropriate and uh, and not necessarily on brand. But hey, sometimes sometimes it rains. Um, good. Right. So over onto the uh, onto the parapet here. I think this is going to be quite nice. I, well, I, I, well, I know it's going to generate some really nice views of the edge of the map. Uh, that's disappointing. Yeah. Do you want to sort out this bit of land? See, I've got that gap there. Whatever. I'll do it later. Okay, right. You'll have people in the comments going, oh, he's going to do it later. <laughs> I mean, I've kind of got, I point you all the times in this series, I said I'll do it later, and I have done. So, shh, critics. I even put my finger to my lips there while shushing you. Yeah, that's how much I mean it. Right. Let us see how the crow feels about this next operation. We're going to the outer, the outer side. We're going to get a cheeky bit of tunnel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, what are we looking at? Well, you're looking at a whacking great bit of roller coaster. Oh, I don't want a whacking great bit of roller coaster. Well, the, the, the option B is going to be a slightly more severe climb, and I don't know if we're even going to be able to manage that. 
uh, and then tunnel in, which is what I was hoping to accomplish. Anyway, we've got some collision going on, so let's uh, let's let's do what needs doing. Yeah, seven hundred grand. Yeah, that's all right. I'll do it twice just in case it didn't take the first time. All right, do this. Yeah. Now that's that's maximum downhill. Oh, that's a disappointment. Yeah, it is. Okay. What else could we do? Uh, well, okay, all right. Well, instead of just coming straight up, we could work the cliffside on the way down. Now, obviously, we're happier here to lose a little bit of speed because the train's in its acceleration slash deceleration zone. I don't think you need to be quite as vigorous when saying slash. Uh, it's, uh, it's the kind of word that really needs uh, a bit of vigorous delivery, in my opinion. You know what I think we might be doing soon? I think we might be bringing out the terrain tools just to make it look better. And then need to, if we're lucky, uh, Johnny Johnny AI will kind of go, oh, no, 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 I could build some houses and whatnot out here. And you go, oh, no, really, can you? Oh, how brilliant. Great. Okay, so if we stick this in here like this, right, with, a, with a, enough application of various bits of, uh, of terrain brushery, we can probably make this look pretty good. Obviously, it's not there yet. Right now, it just looks like some maniac with smoothing tools been at it, and uh, wouldn't be wouldn't be far off the truth, but it's not quite the truth. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. So to about there, and if we're going downhill all the way, we'll probably be we'll probably be tunneled for for, for a fair bit of it. I'd like to do some. What do you What are you doing there? This is smoothing. Where did you get that altitude from? Because you're rot. Oh, I see from the houses. Okay, fine. All right, no, no, sorry, right. I'll allow it. But it means we've got a step there, which we don't want. So let's do that. It's all right. I'm not going to leave this until mid episode. Twixt the episodes, neither. I'll fix this before we're done today, or at least I'll make I'll make a start on it. And then uh, and then we'll we'll see what else needs to be done in order to make it look less horrendous than it currently does. But we've got our we've got our starting point going on now. That's already flying. So uh, is it? Or is that an optical? No, it's not an optical. It's flying already. How is it flying? What's going on here? Why is the station flying? What have I done? How and how have I done it? <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's slightly peculiar. Oh, there we go. It's come back again. Look. Uh oh. Yeah. That to me says. There's a glitch in the matrix, and, it's, and that's that's all busted. As, delete the whole thing. Right, okay. If you can't trust it, don't trust it. Okay, right, let's go again. Give me this, give me that, give me stash. Well, that's, we called the default stash. It shouldn't have been giving us any kind of ruckus in the slightest. All right, well, let's go with uh, the old underpass there. We'll go with some uh, medium building action, despite the fact it looks horrendously out of place, but uh, whatever. Okay, check your angle of attack. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do you want to smooth this out some more, just so we don't have the same thing happen again? Well, okay, yeah. No, it makes sense to do it that way, and then uh, then there won't be any drama. Or at least we won't have flying track coming straight out of the station. Now, I mean, you can stick a bridge pillar underneath it, and and all is right with the world. But uh, no, no, no. Let's let's do it like this. I'll leave a little, leave a little bit of space there, and then we'll we'll reshape this this road bit there, and it'll it'll be great. It'll be great. It'll be great. I've I've done this often enough that I know, I know this will be. Where did you just go? Mm, no, it's because you were dragging a station around with you. Of course, yeah. Right now, down. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. No, that's no. That's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. Keep going down. Down. Keep going down. I apologise for the rapid camera motion. I I do try and put some uh, some work into making it so that you're not violently ill as a result of watching this, or at least it's not the camera work causing you to be violently ill. Anything else causing it? I mean, I could understand you being violently ill because it's just so beautiful. I mean, not yet. Obviously, at the moment, it's an eyesore, but it will be beautiful. Oh yeah, I've got, I've got form, you know. Uh, right, keep going down. Keep going. Don't, uh, don't try and anticipate what I want you to do. Just do what I tell you. All right, there you go. That's it. Yeah. 
Come on, son. Down you go. Straight into roller coaster. Oh, poo. Yeah, and too much slope. Oh, flipping double poo. How bad are we looking? Bad. Uh, helix. Oh, shut up with your helices. Um, okay, all right, all right. Well, look, look, we're, we're not done yet as far as ideas are concerned. Other ideas are we carry on like this. We hang a whatever that will be, right, and then bend it around here and come in that side. You might as well do a helix if you're going to do that. I can't, you can't do a helix here. It doesn't make sense. Hmm. Come on, give me other ideas. <sighs> Tweak more of the landscape. Uh, I don't want to. No, you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to. Is it because it's a solution I don't usually apply? And therefore that makes it novel and interesting and slightly out there and, you know, different. Okay. And, you know, after you've taken all of the tools at it, it'll look fine. Yeah, you could build a nice little shady cove. You're a shady cove. And your face is a shady cove. Thank you very much. Right, that's that covered. Um, yeah, something like that. Obviously, going to need a little bit of work to make it look like it's not been built with the aforementioned Maniac slash terrain tools. Um, but uh, it's, it'll, it'll probably work out. I mean, what you can't change is the fact that you are going to need to uh, to make that slope less severe than it was beforehand, because that's the bit that wasn't working. All right, so if we go straight up here, yeah, go into a go into a big climb, son, big climb. Okay, yeah, wiggle it along the land. We're still doing 175 at this point, which is lovely. That's it. Keep keep her rolling. Oh, she's rolling all right. That's good. That's because that's what we wanted to keep her doing. Ah, she's she's definitely doing that. She's loving every second of it. Having a whale of a time. Are we still talking about Wendy? Couldn't tell you for sure, but, I mean, why not? I mean, you know, if we're, if we're treating Wendy as the uh, immortal goddess of track laying, which apparently, according to the canon that is being written at this current time, that's, the, uh, that's a thing now. Ah, oh, ah, right, what have we got? That's a bit high. I almost don't hate it. But you know what almost isn't? No, almost isn't. I genuinely don't hate it. No, almost is. Yeah, I quite hate that a bit there. That's it. No, keep, keep, some, see, keep some rocky stuff showing. We'll worry about these edges in a moment. But come on, camera, play the flaming game. Right, and then just wang it on in. Which track have you got? Do you know? Do you hate that now? I don't hate that as much now. Okay, that's a bit weird. Yep, we can fix that. That'll be fixed. All right, and do you want to connect to the right-hand side track? Okay, which I have done. All right, put that in. Do the same again. Then fix that lump. But I want to get all the track in first, and then I'll fix the lump. And it should come out all right. Again, I'm thinking mostly of the views at this point of, uh, you know, the, the general spectacle that you'll get by travelling along this mysterious yet magical railway line. Um, now, I mean, we do need to do the bump test. And, uh, and given how much I've been uh, messing around with elevation, I think the bump test is going to be a solid fail. And that we will have some lumpiness going on, which will mean a bit of relaying. But I'll do that in my spare time. Uh, I want to get the uh, I want to get the actual, you know, the, I want to get the overall construction done, and uh, and then wait for the undercoat to dry. Yeah, that's not great. No, it's not. But look, that can wait. That there is inevitably going to be a version two here, so you know, just just leave it. All right. Do you want to give this a little spruce set? Yeah, spruce set spruce setting like that yeah okay yeah that's and it's looking more plausible now you go is it yeah because you've got i've applied some erosion and it makes it look good i mean the other things you can do to make things look just a little bit more oh yeah maybe it is semi-realistic is you can bring the bottom of the ocean floor up a bit which will happen eventually 
Yeah, I know, we've got a bit over there, but that's not the bit that I wanted. I want something over here. There you go. That's it. Right. And then once you've got some of that, grab your old flattener and uh, you've taken it away again. All right. I, I, evidently, I didn't quite have enough there. Yes, yeah, grab some. There you go. Right. And then just maybe decrease your brush size. Oh, a bit of fine art. Yeah, a bit of fine art. So you do stuff like that and it makes it look like, oh, yeah. Oh, I can see exactly how this coastal formation used to appear. And you go, oh, yeah, that looks entirely authentic. That, that less so. Whoop, there you go. See, as you've got a bit of a right angle there. Nature abhors a right angle. Is that something they say? It is today. Uh, and then, you know, just come on. Wakey, wakey. There you go. That's it. And a little bit more. And then see, maybe this bit of coastline here was once upon a time a little bit a little bit higher up than it is now. You don't know. Maybe maybe it was. You see, you need to fix that. That's okay. It can be fixed. Yeah, you see. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not dreadful. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I see where you're going with this. Yeah, a bit of bit of that, and then just enough of a branch out over the side over the side, or not, as the case may. You've, you're, you're, you, I think you had it a minute ago, and now you've lost it again. Grab that. There you go. Just bring that out into some kind of vivid plateau, and uh, and take it, take it over there, like so. Wang it into that bit, which you've now destroyed. Yeah, this is why you do this stuff off camera. I know because it makes it look like you've got no control over any of the tools you're using. That's all right. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, I hope in the third game, when the third game comes along, I hope we can we can do away with some of these quite so abrupt straight edges, apart from when you want a straight edge. The one surety you've got in the old fever is uh, you can't have a straight edge when you want one, and when you don't want one, that's all you're going to end up with. But, I mean, you know, you, uh, you play with the ball, you get the uh, straight edges. Right, what are we doing with this? I'm just uh, I'm plunking in a couple of trees, or uh, uh, whatever this is. This uh, what, what are we looking at? The, the common hazel tree bush type efforts. Uh, is, it, is it native to uh, these kinds of islands? Yeah, it is now. Okay, I think it looks a bit daft. Yep. Right. Okay. So good. Right. Yes, we've actually got the track done. <laughs> um, we're going to need to ride on it to see how bad it is. Because uh, it's not going to be great. There's going to be uh, there's going to be plenty of room for him. What's going on here? Yeah, you see, that's the that's the terrain just getting ahead of itself. If we unpause for a sec, sometimes it pops away. Today, not one of those times. But uh, a quick quick dab on El Smoothereno has uh, has taken care of business. Oh yeah, that beeswax is totally taken care of. Right now, bit bit of extra aggressive smoothing here, and all of a sudden that that doesn't look quite so bad. Yeah, see, yes, you just you just have to make it so it looks flipping random. If it looks like it's not random, it's very obvious that you were the one what did it. Now you now all you've done there is just push the whole thing back. No, not all of it. Most of it. There's a difference. All right, you know what we might do? We'll pull. Why are we doing this? I think we've already demonstrated that you're just making life worse for everybody. No, no, no. See, look there. There. I think I think that looks all right. This bit still needs some tinkering with, but I'll worry about that later. Right. Let's uh, put the points in because it's going to need some points. We're only running one train at the moment, so we can get away without signals for the mo. But we'll uh, we'll need them. Points in. All right. Which way are you points in? Both ways. Okay. He's over there. <laughs> yes. All uh, right. Bit of that. Thank you. House there getting built. Well, it's not. It's a little, little industrial unit. Ah. Oh, well, it sucks to be him because I'm about to take out this entire street. Right. There we go. No, you thought I was exaggerating. No, no. Actually, many of you will have gone. He's not exaggerating. He's going to take out that entire street. Um, right. Because then. We can relay this so that it runs straight past the front of my stash. Or 
in fact, through the front of my stage, which is not exactly what I've got in mind. Uh, a little bit of that? No. Further still? All right. About there? There you go. That's nice. That's not working perfectly. Uh, not yet. No, this is going to form an angle that looks like that, which is good. Actually, I like that. That's great. Uh, this one might not work, though. Yeah, see, that one looks like... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't like that one quite so much. Now, if we just leave this hanging, as we are doing at the moment, the AI will go, oh, I know what to do with this, and it will connect it up to there, and it will look... Uh. Um, so, you know, we've got that going for us. Yeah, slap that through there. See, what would then be quite nice is to do something like this creating a junction that is going to be smeared with traffic 24 hours a day oh, generously smeared at that oh yeah no, no one is scrimping on the amount of smearage going on with the traffic at that junction let me tell you it's going to be uh it's going to be right pasted could take out some yeah okay What I've found, for instance, if, if you were to take one piece of advice in this regard, uh, it's uh, it's a simple one. And that is, look at it, go, should I, shouldn't I, then do it. And uh, and don't think twice about it. Once you've, once you've decided to follow a course of action, just have at it. Don't, don't check as you go, just go straight at it like some kind of, you know, Dementor. Yeah. And then Harry Potter will be afeared up until he gets a Patronus and waggles it in your face. And then you go, oh, no, put that away, Harry. Uh, no, you'll, you'll, you'll get done for that. Uh, so uh, put that Patronus back where you found it. Right, okay, there we are. That's, I don't, I don't hate it. It just depends how lumpy it is along the way. Yeah, this is slightly odd. But I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. Maybe it's because there's a sandy bottom down there, you see, and we and that's not a suitable place to be building the supports for this uh, slightly elevated section of railway. Oh, get you and your logic. Right, this needs a new name. Uh, we're going to call this the uh, the coastal uh, coastal typhoon. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You go. Oh, how did you come up with these great names? I don't really, and just you know poke my finger into the middle of my cerebrum and uh cerebrum all right cerebellum get over yourself and uh and then see what see what floats loose right you're going down the right side of the track <laughs> don't be daft okay now do you think maybe we take these out yeah we take these out oh shut up there you go right well i'll be back I've got all the points necessary. It's more a case of, of just making sure that everything hits the right platforms. Uh, and then we'll we'll offer it a little bit of fairly insistent guidance by slapping a signal or three on there of the one-way variety. Now, we won't need those because there's not going to be that many trains on here. But I think when, when I've got this set up in a fashion that I find agreeable, we'll have one more train. That said, of course probably won't be able to afford any more than one more train but that's 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 hardly that's hardly a, a justification right do it again and this time commit to action all right here we go committing to action manage the line right add station the fray yep which is, i might rename it that in a moment uh and then back to the plex yeah and it does look like it might have figured it out for itself Oh, goodness. Now, it probably wouldn't just... Another pro tip for you. I know, I'm full of them today. Um, yeah, no, if you, uh, uh, if you... If I were to put the signals in after setting the route up, it would go... Oh, 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 at you in various noises. And you'll go, oh, flipping, do me a solid favour, would you? Please. But uh, as it turns out, I have got deep concerns. This all looks right, quite straight, but this bit, I think, might be problematic. It's okay, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Now, if I were to knock this out, this is the last thing I need to do. Uh, if I were to knock that out and instead plunk it down there, will it inherit? It's a gamble because that's quite far away. Uh, what's the name of this stop? North Street. Okay. 
Yeah, 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 I know. Tick, tick. Uh-oh. You made a boo-boo. And he could go, I haven't made a boo-boo. This is entirely intentional. Bit of that. Bit of this. It's inherited. <laughs> North Street, back in action. Trayvon. Okay, yeah. Okay, not just Trayvon, but Simon Le Bon as well. Uh, right, train up the other ends. Hit the, uh, that's uh, a signal. Yeah, I, know, I was just testing. All right, what do you got on board at the moment? 72. Should we try a little, to, shall we? Yeah, let's try a little bit. Of, okay, yeah. Oh, why not? That's a good bridge. I mean, it's senseless, but it's good. I like it. I ought to maybe go to the workshop and buy some more, uh, some more super swank bridges with pillars and towers and drawbridges and uh, and gun turrets. Should totally do that. Should we want to slow down on this on the station approach? Sure. Although we did that at the start of the show. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. There you go. Look. Let people peek at the trains. Ooh, peeking at the trains. That's good. And then you'll see that we've we've used the wrong type of platform on the second half here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, they've turned up early. The tarmac hasn't set yet. You're welcome. Also, this track's a funny colour. Yeah. I'm going to rebuild it. Don't worry. It's okay. I'll rebuild it. It's going to be fine. It's, it's all going to be fine. This is quite a nice view. Yeah, I don't hate it. Apart from the people who are uh, thigh deep in Tarmacadden. Yeah. There we go. They're all aboard. Choo choo. Let's rock. Choo choo, let's rock. Come on, come on. Thank you. Yeah, now we're now we're not looking the right way at all. Ah, so evidently it works just fine. Someone suggested last time around page up, page down will, might make me switch co coaches. Doesn't. Hold on, where are we going now? We're wiggling around. Evidently it's Friday evening because we're stood in a chuffing corridor. Although that said, uh, these days, why am I not fully bound to my train? These days, you're yeah, riding in a coach in a corridor quite a lot of the time. Anyway, yeah, it is still an InCity one two five. Well, of course it is. They're not going to get rid of it, iconic brandage like that. Oh, but this is the old one anyway. This is the uh, this is the original. Okay. Nice bit of engine noise. Now I've gone with the I've gone with the standard setup here, which is three first classes. Well, two and a half because you've got the buffet car going on there as well, where you can get a, a world famous British Rail ham sandwich, which always makes it look like there's two pieces of ham in the ham sandwich, you know. But what they do is they cut it down the, down the middle in a uh, in a triangle and overlap them in such a <gasps> spectral man not doing any. Look at him, sat with his legs crossed. Yeah, reading his newspaper. Maybe he's doing a Sudoku. Well, it depends how much work he's got to put in over the course of the route. Maybe let's not make him go spectral driver on us. Oh, no. We can peek in and see what he's up to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's totally into it. Yeah. One imagines, you know, that there's a, there's a driver animation that could be used as well. Or maybe there isn't. Uh, let's honk. Yeah, it's not quite thumpy enough. You want when you press the honk button, you want it to, you know, make the sound of thunder. You want it to, you know, shake, rattle, and roll your every waking personage part of your being. Anyway, we're we're a fair shake out of the station now, and we still haven't cracked seventy-five miles an hour. So, you know, all of this slow section that I've been blathering about, it's not going to matter so much. Right, let's uh, let's ride on the front. If I could get lower, that'd be nice, but I don't think it's going to. Uh, I don't think it's going to give me what I want here. So we're just going to be smacking our head into every piece of electrical equipment that is going along with the line. Yeah. Well, you'd be tempted to run your hand along that, but don't. The friction burns will get you, and that's just before you're electrocuted. So, it's overall, it's not worth doing. Right. Hello, tiny. I don't think this is working for me. I want to track along. Uh, can we close the window and keep tracking? Yep. No. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought maybe we could. No. 
Okay. Anyway, look, we can see the train fitting into the station beautifully here. If anything, I've made the station a little longer than it needs to be. But uh, we can we can file that one under future proofing. Yeah. Now, will it let me ride in the cab? No, it won't, because it's rear facing when you want to ride in the cab. And when you push your way forward to the loco, or the dummy car, whichever one it is, uh, then, you know, for some reason it starts climbing. And you kind of go, don't climb. I was, I was very happy with things the way they were. There you go, we'll just sit there. That's a little bit better, height-wise. Yeah, it's not quite a honk. There you go. Uh, it's not quite as good as, uh, as sitting in the cab itself, but this will just have to do. Right, let's see how terrible this is. It might be great, I don't know. Also, I've got 90 passengers on board, and I'm not wholly convinced that they're all going to want to go to the same place. Uh, which, is, which is Gallifrey, which is where we're going. They might, but they might not. I know, this is me trying to build any sense of excitement about this in the slightest. It's exciting in the sense that we're going to go and see how, how well this track's come out. But is it anything more exciting than that? Now, you see, we've got a, we've got a needless bit of climb here. You could have stayed down. Or could we? Or maybe not, actually. No, maybe that isn't senseless after all. Maybe that's on the money. Oh, we've got a, got a frame rate improvement as the city is less in view. That's nice. Don't worry, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drop back down into the teens again in a moment. Still quite playable. I mean, you want it moving at glam frames per second, but the world doesn't end if you don't. No. Okay, here we go. Evaluating for lumps and bumps. I can see one. The question is, is it a ban or is it okay? Yeah. I mean, this is steeper than you'd want your train going, strictly speaking. Here it is. And... I mean, you'd get... You'd get a very small amount of stomach lurch uh, going up there, but it wasn't completely terrible. And the view is quite nice, although what's going on with that road is utterly beyond me. I will have to have a look at that. It will involve the use of the bulldozer, I suspect. Uh, but that's never held me back before, and it is not going to hold me back now. And lo and behold, here we come into the stage. We've got some passengers may we okay then oh yeah we may may we indeed double may we all right okay and happy landings uh, this should pay off quite handsomely yeah good still only half full fits in the station like a champ groovy okay right so there you go that's that that's uh that's my show that's what we've done uh, I want to line up one more thing to check. Uh, I'll apply a little bit of polish to this while you're uh, otherwise amusing yourselves. And uh, then we'll press on next time. Now, we're not going to extend this line next time around. Instead, we will tackle the hellscape that is uh, the city near Gallifrey. Which is the... It's the Disto Burbs. You sure? I thought Disto Burbs was elsewhere. No, I'm pretty sure it is. Gallifrey's not dystopian. No, it's not, is it? Oh, this is going to look great. Can we? Can you give me anything a little bit more snaz? No, not really. What you can do, though, is you can use the camera tool, which will allow you a lot more snaz. A lot more. You can snaz the max out of this uh, once, you're, once you're in the camera tool. The only downside, though is you've got this ruddy thing sat in the way. So what you have to do is you have to grab this, drag it just far enough so you can get hold of it again. Uh, then you line up the uh, the angle of, oh, I just want to be able to see it cresting past through and indeed over something in the background. I want to muddy my foreground ever so slightly. That might that might do the trick. And then you can unpause. And remember, you've got you've got this camera icon on the screen, so get that on it on the UI as well, because obviously when you're going to make your thumbnail, you're going to shrink the whole well, you're going to expand the whole thing out, so you're focusing on the area. And then I like to do a little bit of fake depth of field in Photoshop, maybe knock out the colour on the areas that are lacking in focus, and that way when it's dead tiddly, the uh, the focal point of the shot pops. 
Yeah, spoilers. That's the magic. That's how. We, oh yes, that do it. That will do it. I've got fifty-five million quid. I think a new one of those is forty-seven or so. Uh, so we should be golden. And then before you close all this down, you bring that back up again. Otherwise, you'll never find it. Uh, right. Okay. Right. Well, we got we got our shot. Let's see if we can dupe this bad boy. Uh, right. Manage the vehicle. I've paused it because it's in more or less the right place to deploy it. There we go. We've got the dupe out. Let's go and let's go and watch it. Ooh, I've never I've never been inside the depot before, guys. I'm not going anywhere till you give me some rails. And you go. Oh, well, I don't. I'm not responsible. You're gonna have to take that one up with Sir Topham Hat. Yeah, or Fatty as we like to call him. Who's we? Oh, you know me and the lads. Oh, I see. Okay, right, move out of there, and uh, unpause. Yeah, I rebuilt all of this. It's not good because of this level of slope we've got going on here, but it's better than it was. It was the right shambles before, uh, and all the points are, are lined up to be able to do everything that I want them to. But no, I'm not, I'm not thrilled with it. It's the wrong place for a depot. Yes, it is. Yeah, wrong place for a depot. Should have put it somewhere else. Yeah, by the time this has rolled out, you know, the other train's going to be upon us. It's okay, they'll space out. Well, yeah. Eventually. But in the short term, they're, they're going to be, you know, whiffing each other's passengers and you're not going to make a profit. No, it'll be fine. There you go. See, he's got a hammer down. He knows what's up. He knows what's for breakfast. It's passengers. Passengers are for breakfast. Uh, on which note, how many have we got? 123. A moderate, or indeed minor improvement over what we had previously, but not quite uh, spectacular. Uh, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Alright, and then we'll watch these two trains passing each other, so you can go, oh, oh yes, that's marginally satisfying. And then we'll we'll call it a day. Uh, if you're not bothered about watching the two trains passing each other, you can probably bail out now. But of course you don't want to bail out now because you're in the middle of doing something and that will involve hitting pause, tabbing out and shutting down YouTube. And you're desperately hoping that whatever it auto plays next is going to be worth watching. Well, let me tell you, it might be if it's one of my videos. If it's anybody else's video, it definitely won't be. No, up the tempo. Come on, we can't be here all day. Can't fill it for flipping everything. There you go. That's it. Right, okay, now we're rolling. Now, where's the other one? Well, that's that's the excitement point. It's there. Where are we gonna pass? In a really tasteful place. We're gonna be we're gonna be passing in the cheeky peekaboo section. Alright, okay, well let's set this up. Now using everything you learned before, you turn the camera tool on, you get the camera flipping window out of the way, which is about eighteen times the size you actually need it to be. All right, how do you want to do this? Well, I want I want the framing of uh, of all of the good business that we've got going on here, right? So these trees, they're all, you know, they're all moderately pleasing. This cliffside is not. These little chalets, they're okay. You zoom out a bit further and you get a little bit more intrigue going on, but not not so much as to make it riveting. I think we'll go for here. I think we've already got our thumbnail. I think we we've clearly demonstrated that's a thing that's going to happen. And then you just have to be patient. There you go, there's one. Yeah. And predictably there's the other one. It's not terrible. No, it's not, but the spacing isn't good. Right, I'm going to fix the spacing on these manually. Uh, I'll be back next time with more of the same, whereby we will be destroying all of this town here that we have come to know and look at. Uh, and it's going to be whatever it is. Where is it? This town? It's not this town. No. It's a different town. Well, whichever town it is, I'm going to bulldoze quite a lot of it in order to put what will likely end up being an elevated rail thing in there, and it's not going to go well. I've been Colonel Failure. Thanks very much for watching. Do, do please consider subscribing to this video channel. If you've uh, if you found yourself tolerating it today, uh, because then you'll be able to tolerate it again in the future. Yep, and your children will be next. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time. Cheerio.